By the 1880s and 90s, George Westinghouse had founded dozens of companies. Even with those constant distractions, under his leadership, the growth of the Westinghouse Air Brake Company moved full speed ahead. They quickly outgrew their original works in Pittsburgh and moved across the river to a larger building. Westinghouse could see that the need for trains was growing rapidly as the western states exploded in population. He knew that a much larger plant would be needed to keep up with the increasing demand. In 1889, the air brake works were moved to a massive site about 14 miles east of Pittsburgh in the Turtle Creek Valley. A building plan was made, having in mind topography, water supply, and the disposal of sewage. Streets, homes, and a community were built around the new shops, and the town of Wilmerding was created. In that day and age, many industrial companies kept their workers in barracks and cheap, monotonous row houses. But Westinghouse Airbrake built good homes with gas, water, electricity, and baths. Many of them even had lawns and gardens. They went on to establish lawn and garden contests, and the little town became a place of taste in an otherwise dreary industrial region. A trip through the Westinghouse Valley in 1904 gives an up-close look at the air brake works and housing. George Westinghouse always thought of safety and sanitation in his shops. They were well ventilated with the best heating and lighting available at the time. A century-old blueprint shows the elaborate sprinkler systems which were installed at the air brake works, which was very uncommon and expensive at that time. A writer said that as one walks about the factory, he often thinks that the men at work are a good deal better off than they are in their own homes. Included in the plant was a small emergency hospital with an operating room and pharmacy, complete with a surgeon and nurse. Both sick and accident benefits were paid to workers years before it was a common practice to do so. The cheapest way to take care of factory injuries was, of course, to prevent them. And at his plants, serious accidents were rare. George Westinghouse felt that tired, miserable workers were not as safe and efficient as well-rested, happy ones. In the days of demanding physical labor in the sweltering heat and discomfort of factory shops, George Westinghouse invented the precursor to the modern-day weekend. <laughs> 